Yes, hello. Uh, let's see the major problem that we often face when we're trying to install the GNOME uh, desktop environment for our Gali Linux. So most of the people face this problem, and I also face it in the other days, but right now I got a solution for it, and I'm decided to give back to the community by shutting it out. So let's open our terminal. So if we run it there, if you run this command, sudo update just to update our uh, 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 apps package manager and just take a few seconds and then it get done so right now let's try to install the genome environment or the noma uh, the desktop environment and we'll see the problem that will arise so i'm used to uh, have installed the gali desktop and then the environment name we need to install is called genome so most of you people when you try to run uh, this command uh you you often come across this problem that you see here so it says that uh break uh genome shells something blah 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 so we need to look actually how we need to uh, fix it so let's assume that this is our first time we came across this problem so we don't know how to stand so if we come here again and we try to update our package manager we run this command uh, app update you should see here it's telling us we have 1977 packages that need to be upgraded and for us to see them we need to go through this list which are of the packages that are upgradable yes we need to copy it uh we need to copy it and we paste it here the command is uh apps list dash dash or iphone iphone upgradable uh so this is it so uh if uh, if we run this command we will see all the uh, upgradable packages that we need so right now you can see here this is uh all of these packages that need to be installed and you can see they are very very a lot and if we look across them let's try to find something related to the uh, desktop environment that is called genome uh, sometimes it just take time but you need just to go through it like this one by one let's go to where there's a g uh okay now you see here uh everything has to do with Galilee linux default desktop which also need to be upgraded uh and also we have here power base we have here x phase and we have here wallpapers so what we're interesting in it is that uh it is Galilee linux common themes here so these are most of the theme that we need to install and then we have here garlic desktops and a lot of other things so let's try to update this one uh themes which are very common theme or not not common theme let me just say i want to update this one Galley linux theme so i'm going to copy it here I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to see up, upgrade, and then I'm here pasting what I need to upgrade. So it sh you should press capital Y to continue. And now it should continue for you updating here. So guys, this one really, really take a lot of time, but I'm going to pause this video. And when it is done, I will continue recording from there okay uh, right now uh, the packet is uh, almost installed uh, sometimes you can just face an error like this one it's not a big issue you just run the same thing again and it will start from where it has stopped so why for continuation and you see from where it has stopped that's where it's continuing from
So you should also go again through this process. So uh, you will see receive such an environment. Yes, make sure yes to go with the yes. Like restart services during package upgrade without asking. No, that's not a good option. I just need to be asked all the time. Uh, you can just use the arrows to make those uh, options and then just hit enter. If your mouse could work, then you just also have to wait for this process to complete. So we will wait for it again until it's over. The process is now completed. So guys, I uh, just need to make sure that you have a very stable internet connections because this is a very, very huge problem, a very huge load. It, it really, really take time. So guys, uh, I paused the video several times just so just be okay. And there's nothing that much you can do. So now we are able to install uh, Gali themes. So I'm gonna clear the screen. And let me again try to install uh, the Gali desktop gnomes. So now you see the problem is fixed. And by now it should run perfectly and the genome should get or the gnome should get installed on this pc or uh, specifically on this virtual machine so the problem is now fixed uh, so there's nothing that much we're going to do yes we have to wait and then everything would be fine by that time so we just have to wait right now So it's going to ask you these two options. Make sure you, su you choose GDM3. And now everything should be fine. So if you, sh if you choose GDM3, uh, just wait for this process also to complete. And also we have to wait again. Okay, right now it is 99%. Uh, almost done. So uh, this is one of the most critical steps we have to do. So you just need to have a very good and stable internet connections. So this is the last step of installing it, I guess. So here it may take just, uh, if you reach 99%, it may delay a little bit. Uh, not, uh, not like the rest. Okay, it is now done. So me, we have installed uh, the GNOME uh, uh, desktop environment on our Gali Linux x space sessions was the previous one we are using. And we were able to overcome the problem that most of the people face. So we need to just, uh, we just need to reboot our system to start using the, uh, the, the GNOME's uh, desktop environment. So right now I'm rebooting uh, my operating system. Should you just take one to two minutes? Okay, guys. So we are now rebooting the system, and it should reboot. Uh, uh, rebooting just mean uh, we are restarting the system because as you've just seen, we have just successfully installed uh, the the gnomes uh, interface. So this should process should just take uh, almost thirty seconds. Let me say. Just give it some few minutes and this screen should appear. And now we see there are some of the ignore them on the right side here. So right now you see guys, this, this is our genome interface. You just need to click on this user. And now our problem is solved and we are able to install the genome interface. And you can see the interfaces here. Here you can see this genome. You can shoot genome classics and among them. So that was it. And if you like this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and also share it with your friends.